<laughs> All right, Sean's asking, I got downsizing my go box to an Apache. Can you recommend a decent auto tuner for my FT891? Um, I'm using the um, the LDG Z11 Pro 2, and it works well for me. Um, I think the Mat30 tuner also, people have said a lot of nice things about that, and that's about the same size as the LDG. So they're both... Um, small the dimensionally that lgg isn't isn't any bigger width and length than the than the the 891 so they stack really nice it's um definitely smaller than the manual tuner i usually carry along yeah the ldg tuners for years have been great and because it's <laughs> it's plug and play with the 891 um mm -hmm. you can't really beat it. it it's great those things are i think will go up to almost 10 to 1. Um, yep so they'll do 9 to 1. That. Not quite a wet noodle, but they'll tune it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that'll do, you know, nine to one will do, you know, just about any random wire antenna. Um, so it's, I don't have any problem, you know, easy, you know, smooth out a, um, a Malcatrin dipole. You know, it's. Uh, so. Especially if one of Joe made. <laughs> so holy water. <laughs> um, Don says, yeah, the uh, Yesus FC50 for the 891 works fine. The FC50 is actually, I mean, that's that's the tuner that's built for the 891. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, integration, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's tightly integrated with the rig. That's one of the beauties about it. It's a little more expensive, but um, but that you but you would you would get um, you would get that full integration. So yeah. Speaking of which, if anyone has a LDG, uh, is it AT eight ninety seven, the one that sits on the side of the eight ninety seven, mm. they want to get rid of it. Let me know because I would I would probably give a couple bucks for that. They don't make Maybe that even, one anymore. Yeah. No, they don't. They don't. It's every now and then I see them, but they're like they're combined with the actual radio and I already paid way too much for my 897. So yeah, I'm not going to buy another one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> if you want to see an overpriced used radio, the <laughs> FT 897 is it every time, every time, because it shares the same architecture as 817 and 857. And those used go for reasonable prices, but the 897, pff, that's like gold. And I don't well, know why. You, I don't you, either because it's the same as my 857. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Your, Architecturally your the same. It's just is my 857 in a different form factor. Yep. It, the 857 was made for a vehicle. The 897 was made for portable. But mm -hmm. the 857 goes for at least 150 to $200 less than the 897 years. Yeah. That's just nuts. Well, you paid a pretty penny for years, and then you ended oh. up putting more into it to replace the... I, it so, wasn't the finals. It was uh, no. So the original eight ninety sevens. I think some of the eight fifty sevens as well. The IF filters. The material that the IF filters are made is basically would absorb moisture, and after a certain amount of time, they would just fail and it almost looks like mold grows over them. It's actually the material kind of bubbling. It's not a mold. Mm -hmm. So I bought the radio. Um, it was one of those things. On e I think it was on eBay or something. <laughs> I hit click real late at night, and I woke up next morning and said, "Oh God, I won!" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I overpaid, and then I got it. And I think it was Winter Field Day five, six years ago. Yeah, yeah, you and hit it off Winter it Field Day. And like this thing is death. This is, and it wasn't right. And I started looking into it and I opened it up and I looked at it and like, oh crap, it's got this stuff all over. No wonder the guy was selling it. <laughs> so it's fortunately there's a guy in North Dakota that still does repair for Yesus. It really, even with the shipping and everything, it was less than $200. So like COVID hit and like, I wasn't doing anything better. So I shipped the radio out, got it fixed, got it back. Um, so the $700 radio became a $900 radio. <laughs> radio. <laughs> and if you look at the black Friday specials, uh, um, at, um, ham radio outlet, I could have got the new 700 for less yeah. than what I have in my 897 right now, <laughs> but I love my 897. So I'm stuck with it. Um, anyways, but if <laughs> I could find the 897 tuner for it, I would be appreciative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that and 
itself is going to turn out to be a video there, Michael. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just play the world's saddest song as Joe got burnt. <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.